Hey guys, AJ from Relentless Racing. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be talking about taking apart the head so that way it is prepped for vapor hunting and for the machine shop. My cylinder head is going to be built for performance on the track. Therefore, I'm going to port and polish the cylinder head and I'm going to replace all of the stock parts with aftermarket goodies. Here's an overview of all the pieces we're going to be removing from our head today. We'll first start out removing the keepers, the retainers, and the springs using the PQY K-Series spring compressor tool. Next, we'll remove the exhaust and intake valves. Following the valve removal, we'll be removing the valve seals using the SP Tools or Chalet 92350. These valve spring seats are next. And finally, we'll be chasing the spark plug threads with this Matco Thread Chaser, the SPT-200. This one's going to be a lot of work, so let's get started. Check this out. So you just put this guy in here. These are M8 by 1.25. Screw those guys in. And then I'm going to take the basket. I'm going to fit the basket right on top of the retainer. Hit this guy just a little quick right here right where it touches and I just want to feel it and then I get to drive it down just a little bit. Right now the valve is kind of stuck. Flip it over. Here's number six and I'm just going to give it a little whack with the hammer. That pops it up and then I'm going to grab my little magnet and I'm going to grab the keepers and then I put the keepers in a bag. See my bag right here and then I'm going to back this guy out the drive bolt. Take the basket out, and there's your spring and your retainer. Put these in the bag, and you just move on to the next one. Here you can see the intake valves have already been removed. Here are the exhaust valves, all eight of them. To get them out, once all of the springs and the retainers and the keepers are out, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take a look at the bottom of them. Here's the identification on them. And then you just stick your hand in the back and you can push these valves kind of like this. You can just push them down. And you see how they're pushed down just a little bit. Now, when you go to the other side, you can see that they're partially out and then they come out real simple. Just give them a pull, easy as that. To remove the valve seals, we'll be using this SP Tools or Chalet 92350. It essentially looks like a big pair of pliers. It's kind of specially rounded. It has some little grippers on the end. What I like to do is I like to put the head on the ground and make sure you put a piece of cardboard down so that way it doesn't mess up the bottom of the head. I place my foot on here, apply some Kung Fu grip, and then just kind of yank on this puppy. It may take a couple times to pull it out, but there it is. It pulls it out pretty nicely, and you can see what it looks like afterwards. The last thing to remove are the valve spring seats. Those are these little discs right here. I just use two magnets, pull up on it, and then that takes it right out. So before we can call this finish, I like to chase the spark plug hole. So here is a common size spark plug. The thread on this is M14 by 1.25. So Matco actually makes this guy, it's a thread chaser for spark plugs. It's the SPT200, you can see it right there. The key to using this thing is you can go down from the bottom and you wanna make sure you do this by hand first. Just make sure that you get it aligned with the threads because you don't wanna cross thread this guy. So just make sure you're real careful with it. And sometimes it's gonna be tight in there because it's got some it's got some stuff in there. So just be careful and make sure that you do not cross thread this thing because the last thing you wanna do is put a new thread into here. And once it's in there, look at it. Put your ratchet on there. And clean up that thread. So I'm gonna screw that thing all the way down until there's no more cutting area in that thread right about there and then I'm just going to back it out and this really just cleans up the thread and makes sure that it's nice. Sometimes the head guys don't do this 
and I think it's important to clean up your thread, just make sure everything's looking good. But that's what it looks like. Hit all of your threads with that, and pretty much that concludes it. We'll take a look at this in just a second, and you can see exactly what happened to the head. So here's the completely disassembled head. There's nothing else I could take off of this head. We took out the valves, we took out the retainers, the keepers, and we took out the valve spring base seats as well. So you can see inside, there is nothing in there. The only thing that we can't get out are these guides. These are actually pressed in. These are called the valve guides right here. So let's turn this guy around. There are the exhaust ports. You can tell by the size of them and their shape. And again, everything is out of here. Even the lost motion assemblies are completely taken out. And then on the bottom, let me flip this guy. On the bottom, you can see that there's, on the insides over here, those are the valve guides. You can kind of see them in there. It's a little bit dark on the exhaust side. Let me show you with some light. On the exhaust side, they're a little bit on the dark side on there, but they are in there. And again, those have to be pressed out. So not that big of a deal. The head does have a strange color on it. And again, this is from when I stuck it into my buddy's parts washer, it was a little too acidic. So I'm actually gonna try and vapor hone this thing. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, by the way, the last thing that we did was we did these holes, we chased these holes with a thread chaser. And so now they work real smooth. And again, these are M14 by 1.25. I think that's it for this guy. I think that we're gonna take this thing over to some vapor honing before we go over to the shop and you know, I'm not so much concerned about this surface because this is obviously is going to get fly cut when it gets over to the machine shop that's doing my head. And Endyne is going to be doing mine. That's the old one.com. And then we're going to do all new valves, all new springs, all new retainers. It will be double springs actually. And I believe we'll be using all new keepers. Look down in these tubes. Should probably want to clean these up just a little bit too. But once we get back from vapor honing, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But take a look at it right now. You can see all the different weird colors on it. So hopefully after the vapor honing, this thing will look awesome. And then after vapor honing, we're going to clean out every single one of these threads and just make sure there's no media or anything else in here. That's where the VT, I think it's called VTC. Well, thanks for watching this video. The next step is I'm going to take this head over here to vapor honing. I'm not so sure what's going to happen with that. This is going to be my first experience with it. So stay tuned and I'll put that up soon. This is AJ with Relentless Racing. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. And of course, share this with as many people as you can. Stay relentless and I'll see you guys on the track.